Hey guys, what's up? Joe... Seltzer Water. Thumbnail pick. Quick tutorial. So, um... Something that, um, I kind of been struggling with and I'm still trying to learn is being a good colorist, right? Doing color correction with Paul's, you know, videos, right? And mine also, right? Um, I'm not too familiar with color theory and none of that shit, right? But obviously there's something I can improve on, right? Now, one situation I always notice with Paul's videos in the past is that, like, um, usually when I do color correction or any type of color adjustments, like, the area around his mouth, like, I noticed, like, he'll get, like, an orange hue, right? I wasn't too sure what it was, right? But then, like, in one video, people pointed out that, like, he had, like, a Cheeto face going. Uh, this, that's what they call it, right? If, I guess you can see around his mouth, there's somewhat of an orange shadow that's going around in his face, right? And that's something that I didn't understand what it was, right? So depending on your monitor, if you see this on a regular 1080p monitor or you know, something's not too color accurate. Uh, for most people, it looks too dark, right? And also, like, it can have, like, an orange pigmentation. And I have read in the comments that people, it looks like he has some form of, like, a Cheeto mouth going, right? That's what they called it. <laughs> so, one time, like, for one of Paul's recent videos, when he did, like, the OLED video, uh, we did an experiment, or I tried it out to see if I can fix it. And, like, what we did was we added a little bit more light to his face to try to like, um, you know, brighten up the face and make it more even, right? But I was still getting that orange dark hue around his mouth right now. Paul has some kind of like uh, skin pigmentation. I mean, nothing bad. I'm just saying like just the, the way how his face is. Yeah, he has some kind of like a darker skin tone around the mouth area. So when I did something like color correcting, it looked kind of like um, just strange, right? When I was trying to do some color correcting, right? So yeah, we added like another light to his face to try to even everything out, but there was still a little bit of like darkness around his uh, mouth, right? And Paul brought it up also that he does like, he didn't notice it, right? So um, I couldn't figure out what it was going on until recently I figured out a way to fix it a bit. So I'm gonna show you what I did here, right? Now I'm gonna start in Premiere Pro and then I'm gonna show you what I do in DaVinci, right? So it's both the same shit technically, right? This is Paul's video raw, right? And this is with the new light that we added to his face, but um, there still is like a bit of a, uh, kind of like a darker skin tone around the mouth, right? Now, if, what happens is, see if I start to like do some color correcting. So now let, let me just do some quick basic color correcting, you know, see like I usually would. And let's just say that for now. But if you look here in the face, there's a lot of orange pigmentations that pops out here, right? Around the mouth area in particular, right? So depending like, uh, see, okay, here's a good spot. Overall, the image looks okay. But see around the mouth here, how it looks orange or pinkish yeah that's where like i started to get some issues right so then i started you know trying to like tweak everything around trying to like you know maybe desaturate or all that but uh, i try to focus more on the overall image right so, I mean, if i try to like you know remove the saturation then like the whole image overall becomes desaturated and other stuff and i don't want to do that what i found that works is basically you need to isolate the skin tone overall that's around the face area right so that's what i'm gonna show you how to do the lumetri color tab for uh, Premiere Pro and we go to like the um, the curve area you get this by default but on this pull down tab here it says hue saturation and curves so pull them and you'll click on that and then we go here in this uh, section where it says hue and saturation right we want to like, get this section around his mouth right because we want to like uh reduce the saturation of the pigmentation around his mouth right so it doesn't look as orange right and so what we can do is we get the eyedrop tool here click on that and I can go around his mouth I click that and as you can see here we got three points right now the uh, point in the middle is the one we're gonna use to adjust like the saturation around his mouth right so if i go up just so you can see what's going on you know paul turns into noompa noompa loompa right so but the thing is that what we want to do is i kind of want to like find an area where he's the most saturated is like that. Now I'm gonna I'm getting a lot of like other pigmentations, right? But I just want to mainly isolate the face or mainly the mouth area. So what I can do is like I can just click and drag these stuff points over. Let's see here. Strictly isolate only the tones around his mouth. Just for the record, I don't like uh, using this, to be honest. It's better on DaVinci, that's for damn sure, but I'm just showing you how to do it here. So, 
See, in this case, we got like a lot of like the tones around his mouth, right? So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna bring this down. And what we're doing is we're reducing the saturation of that pigmentation here, right? I'm gonna reduce that a little bit more. And there you go. So I was able to like reduce like the pigmentation around his mouth. I also got some of like the, the hues around his face, right? But you know, we can fix that in like the basic color correction. I don't know, maybe we can like increase like the, the temperature a little bit to make it a little bit more warmer to bring some more... Uh, some more color to his skin tone, right? Make it more warm. So there you go. So yeah, maybe crank up the saturation just a tad bit more if you want. So that looks a lot better. As you can see here, you know, like the overall image looks a lot better and I was able to desaturate the pigmentation around his mouth, right? By doing that method, by isolating just like the hue around his mouth, right? So Paul doesn't look like he just fucking ate out a fucking giant Cheeto's ass. <laughs> if we do the same thing in uh, DaVinci Resolve, I'm just bringing this in here. Now I'm using like the same clip here. And let's see. Now as you can see here, it's almost the same thing. We got a bit of like the hues, right? So you see like around his mouth, you know, same thing situation, right? It's kind of like uh, you have like a pinkish uh, orange skin tone going on, right? So the cool thing about uh, DaVinci is that if you go to like the color tab here, it's definitely a lot easier. What I like is that you are able to like zoom in. You know, using like the mouse wheel, you know, so you can isolate the, the face. So you can see here, like I said, there's still, you can see some of that like orange skin tone here, right? So basically I want to like reduce that. That way, like uh, any future uh, color adjustments that I do, that orange pigmentation uh, that he has around his mouth doesn't get uh, exaggerated. So what we what we can do is um, we go down here. You should by default should be here in the curves customs, right? And then like over here, you have you have some options. You want to move over the mouse over to you get the hue of saturation. You click that, then you're gonna get this right. Now the cool thing is like, uh, you know, you have an eyedropper tool here and the qualifier and just the same thing like we did in uh, Premiere Pro. You want to click on around the area where you can see that skin pigmentation, the strongest, right? That way, like it gets isolated. What you want to do is like, uh, you want to click, click on an area where like I say maybe around here, usually darker, you can see a lot of like the pinks going on. Click on that. And as you can see here, it created some keys, right? Or points uh, on the color information to isolate that color that we just selected, right? So now the cool thing about this is, see if we crank that up. And then there you go. See how like uh, it kind of like selected like this area here. You get more of the pigmentations. Now uh, I want to try to isolate this a bit more. So I'm going to just move these points over a bit more. See if I move like uh, this point to the left. See how it gets more of the cheek area. If I get in more centered. More of the cheek area gets reduced right. Now for whatever reason see you accidentally do this. Right you move you grab like the point And you want to make the sharp but you accidentally went too low. Where it says saturation, this uh, this area right here, just click on it and push one, right? And it should be like, and that will level everything out. Same thing with this one. If you want too high, whatever reason, say it's 1.10, just click on the saturation here and hit one, and it goes back to being like, you know, at its default position, right? So now that we got this section here, like uh, isolated, you know, like the mouth, right? We can just grab this point and click down, and just basically you're gonna desaturate this a little bit, not too much, right? So now like with that, as you can see, see like the pigmentation around his mouth, if I, I we, it's desaturated, right? But uh, as you can see, Paul's face now became a little bit more flat, right? In the sense of like the pigmentation went from his face, so he's more looking like Uncle Fester, right? Now like uh, overall, the image, we did that. We can just go to like our, our color, you know, information here. And if I turn off my camera, by default, this area, I think it shows you the keyframe. So what you can do is you, you know, click over where it says waveform and where it says histogram. I usually use, I usually use waveform, right? So it's a pull down menu and hit waveform. And then from there, like I started doing my color correcting, you know, uh, you know, whatever you want to do. So in this case, the lifted, the shadows, the gammas, the mids, the gain is the highlights. And this is like exposure, like overall, right? All right. So uh, I did this really quick because I want to get this video done. But as you can see, I did some color correcting, you know, I added some contrast some saturation and so on and so forth. Right. And as you can see here, by doing some color correcting, I was still able to like do what I needed to do without like uh, getting that like uh, Cheeto phase action going right reduce the saturation a bit. There you go. It looks a little bit better So, you know, if I feel it's like it's too flat then maybe we can just like increase this a little bit more just to get some more color in his face But so yeah, obviously I'll probably spend some more time to make it look better But I just wanted to show you basically if uh, 
for some reason you're getting that situation where like in Paul's case uh, the skin tone I ran out of his mouth uh, it's like a different skin tone than the rest of his face so I was getting like a different like hue going on yeah I figured out a way to isolate the tone around his mouth and desaturate it a little bit that way when I do my final color correction like the color around his mouth doesn't like uh get highlighted it doesn't pop out as much right so it doesn't look like he ate like a bunch of cheetos or something <laughs> like the people in the comment section were saying he was getting like a cheeto face right anyways uh that's all i have to say i hope that helps <laughs> if uh you guys like here's some qr codes you want to buy me a coffee i'll appreciate it uh if not no problem just hit a like leave a comment ask a question if there's anything else i can help you with uh thank you so much for watching this video really appreciate it all right talk to you guys later take care and peace